Hello everyone. Not too much rain in the last 30 days. We've been on the dry side. Most of us somewhere around 80 90% but most of the actual rain that's been falling since that time has been a little bit either towards our northwest in West Virginia or on the Richmond side of the state. Now if I switch this over to radar, we really don't have a lot of rain that's coming for today either and just looking at what's available. You wouldn't necessarily think that we've got too much rain on the way. There's some snow that's been rather consistent further towards our north, but that next system hasn't really developed yet. It's going to take some moisture from really the Atlantic Ocean to combine with the warm front that's headed our way to drive our next system. This afternoon, we get to stay pretty calm. Winds are under 10 miles per hour. They even fall further than that as we get into this evening, so that sets us up pretty nicely for tomorrow. But that next low pressure system, which is developing right now, is going to lead to some showers and even storms early on Friday well towards our southwest, especially in southern Louisiana. That'll track further towards the east and this branch in Georgia and South Carolina, which right next to the warm front is going to get some storms for us is mostly just going to bring showers. Those continue through Friday night and on into Saturday. I think the rainfall that's on the western side of the system lasts for us at least until noon in most places with lingering showers even beyond that. Once we get to about 4 p.m., the wind really starts to pick up and we're going to stay pretty dry from that point on through Sunday and into Monday. Winds are a little bit higher on Saturday than they are on Friday. After a nice break today, it's going to be breezy again. The good thing is with all that rain, the fire risk is much lower. Looking at the total rain that's coming through Friday and Saturday, the bulk of it falls from D.C. up towards uh, pit, uh, up into Philadelphia. But for us, a lot of spots are able to get more than an inch of rain. Further towards the west, it's a little bit more difficult, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of us get there. That's going to help us get back towards average. Like we were looking at, hadn't had too much rain rain lately. We're still at 1.6 inches for the month so far. Last month was below average, but not supremely so. We're doing pretty okay for rainfall right now. A lot of the eastern part of the country is outside of the abnormally dry conditions. There's a little bit in North Carolina. That's definitely going to be helped out by the heavier rain headed our way. Now, whenever we have rain like this, flood potential becomes a little bit of a concern, but the way it's going, we don't really have a whole lot. We've been dry for quite some time. So on Thursday, the flood rain stays down towards our southwest on Friday. It stays generally towards our south comes up into parts of North Carolina, but we're not looking at too much and on Saturday. It stays pretty well off towards our east today. Temperatures can get up into the 60s pretty easily in some spots. Roanoke's at 60 Blacksburg's at 56. We don't hold on to too much heat overnight despite the clouds building up. Roanoke's still at 35 and on the extended forecast temperatures are going to stay actually pretty stable through a lot of the days ahead. There's ups and downs, but we're generally within a few degrees of 60. We have our rain on Saturday. We are able to dry out nicely for Sunday and Monday. And then there's another system coming through Tuesday and Wednesday might bring some rumbles of thunder, but it's not particularly impressive. Do you think it's going to keep us soggy for a while? I'm telling you, man. So I wasn't here last weekend. Was it rainy still? Oh, uh, yeah, there was been, like, going on, like it's a just a, lots of like ins and outs and ups and downs. So try to enjoy the sunshine while it is here because right. give it a couple more days and there's definitely rain on the way. All right. Well, hey, if you guys haven't noticed by now, you know, the wind has been brutal lately, especially yesterday. And meteorologist Chris Michaels explained why March is the windiest month of the year in this part of Virginia.